Hey guys, what's up? Turbo Logo here. Today we are here with the 2014 FIFA World Cup Brazil game, continuing our African team runs today with Algeria. Of course, Algeria have qualified for the last two World Cups apart from 2018. Um, they're on course for 2022 qualifying in the playoffs currently. Um, but we're going to do them on 2014. We're not going to replicate their group or their run on 2014 because I feel like, um, well, I just feel like I wanted to do something a little bit different. So I have loaded the World Cup with some random other teams as well. So let's get straight into this then. So this is the groups at the moment, but they're too close to the actual group. So we're going to shuffle them in three, two, one, boom. And um, we didn't really move, Algeria didn't move, but everybody else did. So Group H consists of United States, Paraguay and Armenia. So I wouldn't say uh, a really super hard group, but one that we still need to watch out for because United States and Paraguay are still very tough sides. Armenia could be a little bit of a, a uh, surprise package in there as well. So taking a look at the squad for Algeria before our match against Armenia, um, there's a few players I do recognise in there, so we've got Gulam and Bagheera, I know them too, I know Menjani as well, uh, Taida and Figuli, uh, Brahimi as well, I know him, and Slimani of course, probably one of the better players from Algeria at the time. Um, I'm not sure if Riyad Mahrez is actually here or not, oh J Jabor, I know of Jabor as well, but um, other players like Mahrez, not here at the moment. Maybe they were deep into the reserves or something. I'm not too sure. Or maybe that was a little bit too early for Riyad Mahrez because I think Riyad Mahrez broke out in around about 2015, maybe 2016 with Leicester. So kicking off our first World Cup match is against Armenia. Not too hard of an opponent to start off with. I reckon we can probably beat them. Algeria have really sort of em emerged as a dominant African force in football. Um, you're talking like 2010, they held England to a 0-0 draw, I think, and um, they got knocked out in the group stages from the USA's late heroics. And then in 2014, you started to see them getting a little bit better. They got all the way to the, was it like the round of 16 or the quarterfinal? I can't remember, but they faced Germany and they took Germany all the way to extra time, I think. So that's not bad at all. And then obviously in um, 2018, they failed to qualify. But um, in 2019, they won the Africa Cup of Nations. They're featuring in the Africa Cup of Nations in 2022. They're probably strong favourites to win it. They've got a very good squad alongside teams like Senegal and Egypt. They are the favourites. Figuli, he's got it. He's dribbling around most of these players, making it look so easy. I'm surprised they didn't get tackled. Launch that into the box. No, just go straight out for a throw in. Through ball. Have we got it? We have. We've still got it. Oh, there we go. We scored. We just pushed our way through. And Slimani scores the first goal of this World Cup. As expected, I didn't think I'd get it that early though. It would be cool if I did have Mares on my team because he would have been sort of like a raw talent and it would have been really cool to see how he would have played. So 1-0 within the first 13 minutes, but nothing to get too excited about really. We are the better team. Oh, that was a bit of a defensive error. We're just going to go for the shot. Good save by the keeper. Already I can see Algeria's uh, talent coming through. Armenia, what are you doing? Like, you're just playing it around your own box. It's so dangerous. I don't think they know what they're doing. Armenia just seem to be messing around with it. They just don't seem to be actually doing anything on the ball. Find a way to pass, but look how many defenders they've got in the box. Like, they've got about seven in there. Good cross, though. Tipped away by the keeper. Crossed in again. Header. Oh, good save. Slow start, really, from Algeria. I felt that we probably could have got a couple more goals in the first half, but it hasn't been the case. Armenia have made it really difficult. They've kind of just messed around with the ball too much. They've not really done anything on it, and I hate teams that play like that, although they almost scored a 30-yard free kick. Well, that's half-time, and it's only 1-0, but I guess a slow start is still a start in this World Cup. I mean, there's still room for goals in the second half, but I don't know, I'm just a little bit disappointed in Armenia's play. Here comes Armenia with Mkhitaryan, crosses it into the box, and that's a goal. We did not defend that well at all, and no 
Movsisian. Is that how you say it? I, I literally cannot read half these names. He scores to make it 1 1. Cross that in. And we just pushed the goalkeeper out for a corner. I've never seen that on this game before. Okay, if we score from this, then that would be highly controversial. <laughs> we almost did as well. Through ball, and Slamani just gets cut out. I, I feel like Slamani would not get cut out that quickly. He's quite a quick player, right? Like, he's not, like, slow or anything like that. Here comes Slamani again. We're about to shoot. It gets deflected, and we couldn't get the rebound. Here comes Sudani. Sudani's got a chance, he gets blocked, that was great defending by Armenia. We're getting embarrassed at the moment. So we're going to have to make a substitute because Majani's got a sprained ankle, apparently. So we're going to put on uh, Kaide, and um, we'll put Jabor up front as well for Slimani. Even though Slimani got the goal, it just feels off the pace. Jabor can just run past him, right? I mean, he's got the pace. Shot and it's in. Yeah, all they needed to do was just get the angle right and Jabor gets the 89th minute winner against Armenia. That's how we do it. A substitute comes on, instant impact. Jabor might have to be playing up front alongside Slimani to get those goals. Even though I'm unhappy with the result really because it took me so long to get that second goal, at least we've won this game. And there we go, Algeria won 2-1 against Armenia. Uh, a lot closer than I would have liked. It doesn't really look good for the last two matches of the group stages because United States are a pretty decent team and so are Paraguay as well. So, yeah, I don't know how I'm going to take that. Maybe that result against Armenia was like, I don't know, teething problems or something for Algeria in the first match of the World Cup. Second match of the group stage is against the USA. We can probably try and get revenge for what they did to Algeria in 2010. You know, that famous late winner from... Was it Donovan that scored that late winner to send USA into the next round? Got to be very careful here because the USA are a very tough team to play against. Even though they may not be the one of the best teams on the planet, they're still quite a tough team to play. Especially when I've only just straight the result against Armenia. Good tackle by Brahimi. We haven't got Jabor on yet, but I'm hoping that Jabor can make late impact. And here comes Slimani, and he puts it past the post. Very unfortunate. He's getting pressured a little bit. Could have scored in the first third three minutes or so. Turns and gets tackled. Is this a problem with this game? You don't get a lot of space. I mean, it is good in a way because it's more realistic, but still, you just don't get a lot of space to do what you want to do because you get shut down very quickly. Oh, that header was so poor. What are you doing? I hate that so much. Like, Algeria are a three-and-a-half-star team, maybe on the border of a four-star team. They should be playing better than what I'm doing right now. Maybe it's me. Maybe I just can't use Algeria very well. There's some teams that I just don't get on with very well. Go for the shot. It's blocked. <sighs> USA just keep doing that. They're making it uneventful by just defending out of their skins at the moment in the first 45 minutes. There hasn't been too many highlights, but every time I've gone for on goal, they do defend quite well. Brahimi again. Brahimi again. Oh, yes, he scored. I thought that went wide. And it's 1-0 to Algeria. That was great. Great stuff by Brahimi. I can't believe that actually went in because it did look like it went just wide of the post. Taking the lead before half time, I was about to say that this half has been very uneventful, and it has been quite uneventful. But, you know, getting a goal before half time changes everything. I just feel like USA are a little bit more defensive in this game. They haven't actually done a lot, they haven't even had a shot yet. Crossed in. Header! Oh, okay, he got over the top of my defender? That's weird. And Landon Donovan scores the header to make it 1 1. That was a good cross, and it was a good header, to be fair, to get over the top of him, um, one of my defenders even, and um, score. It's been so frustrating, because some of these sides are playing so defensive. It's actually incredibly annoying how, like, defensively sound the US have been, and Armenia as well, in their game. Okay, well that was a really poor kick by the goalkeeper. Goes back to him, and how did you not save that? Oh my god, that was so calamitous from Algeria. The goal kick, the kick from the goalkeeper was terrible. I put full power on it, and it still just went into the air. Like, 
like a little kid just kicked it or something. It's ridiculous. Like the power bar on this game, like it's so flawed. Like you put loads of power on a strike and um, it doesn't go anywhere. That was dreadful by Algeria. USA have come out of this game with a, a steal. They've stolen this game away from me. No, like we just lost. It, like the controls feel so heavy sometimes on this game. And USA did not deserve to win that at all. It was a defensive lapse at the end. Algeria were terrible in front of goal and they were terrible at the back as well. It feels like they're just not here. Oh my god, it was all me that was. That was terrible by me. And Paraguay got a win against Armenia, so now we got a win against Paraguay. I just don't get how a team can play that bad. Like, seriously, I just don't get it. And look, even the training trail here, like, is completely messed up. I gotta do it again. Right, so the last match then is a crucial one against Paraguay. We need to win it. Both sides are probably about the same rating on this game, although I'd say Algeria in real life at the time were better because they actually qualified for the World Cup and everything. Need to win. We, we absolutely need to win this match. Otherwise, I don't know. Algeria will be one of the most underwhelming runs I've done in a while. Through ball down to you. Shot. Oh, there we go. Straight away we score. And that's Brahimi. And that is 1-0 in the fourth minute. That was actually good play. Actually good play. I switched them to attacking, if you saw, on the bottom right-hand side of the screen. And um, straight away it had instant impact. So already we've taken an early lead, but that doesn't really mean anything. Because we've taken early leads in games prior to this game. And um, the other team has managed to get back into the game. Although, look at this. Maybe attacking is working for Algeria. Maybe I just needed to do that. Or maybe it's just a stadium because it's just easy to actually make plays when you've got the overhead like this. And that's a goal. That was a defensive error. And Slimani scores. And it's 2-0 in the ninth minute. Algeria somehow flying right now. Paraguay can't believe it. They had the chance to beat me and qualify. They haven't now. They're 2-0 down. Good kick by the goalkeeper. That's what I wanted against the US. A kick like that. Not like a measly kick that he did... Like, you could tell that moment was completely scripted by the game. You know, put this into the box. That's not a bad ball. That's a really good ball. And we almost score from it as well. That ball was absolutely outrageous. That's the kind of plays I want. If I had just turned and composed myself, I might have scored a third. Goes for the shot. Oh, what a save. That was a fantastic strike, though. The save was brilliant. I mean, the ball was, like, on a looping sort of, like, animation. It looked like it was going to loop into the top corner. Half time, and we've been completely dominant in this half. The scoreline may not say that, but we definitely have been. We've had a lot of shots, and we look in complete control. Maybe I needed to put Algeria in attacking mode from the very beginning. Here comes Santa Cruz. I didn't realise that Santa Cruz was... Part of the Paraguay 2014 squad. So I can't wait to use Paraguay again on 2014. Paraguay pressing. And we just pass it straight to our goalkeeper. Who had to manoeuvre his way out of trouble. He did it really well. And there we go. That's it. Despite us dominating. We only got a 2-0 win. But still a win is a win. And we go through to the round of 16. At the start I was kind of worried for Algeria. But now I know what I need to do. To get them into gear. I need to put them in attacking mode. And put Jabor up front as well. Because I think Jabor is still a little bit more clinical than Slimani. The United States ended up beating Armenia 2-1 in the end as well. Right then. So looking at the round of 16 then. Who have we got in this one? So reading a left down. We've got Italy versus Germany. Ireland versus Mexico. Argentina versus Cameroon. England versus Croatia. Uh, Brazil versus Iran, Portugal versus Algeria, so that's our next opponent, Spain versus France, and USA versus Israel. So I think for this Portugal match, we need to do a defending drill to make sure our players are top notch, but again, I failed the drill, so thanks for that game. And I accidentally pressed the A button as well, so I couldn't restart it. I think for this match against Portugal, I'm gonna possibly drop Slimani. I know that sounds a little bit strange, but I think Jabor is just a little bit better. I feel, like, I feel like he's faster. Is he actually faster? Let's have a look. Yeah, he is faster. Slimani's only got 64 pace. 
so he is faster. And I know it's not all about pace, but still. Round of 16 match against Portugal. A very, very tough match. Probably our biggest match that we'll have in this World Cup. We might get eliminated if we play the way we did against Armenia and USA. But if we play the way we did against Paraguay, then we won't get eliminated. So it's going to be a hit and miss with Algeria. I feel like it's a bit of a Jekyll and Hyde situation with their form. I, th I think that sometimes they turn up to play for some games and don't for other games. Already I'm struggling with the defence and the deflection takes it wide. Crossed in again. Portugal got a lot of possession right now. First sort of five minutes of the game. Really good play, just gone wide though. I don't know why Algeria seem a little bit slow on their turning. Every time I turn round, like a Portuguese player is there ready to stop us. I'm really trash at tackling and they put the ball wide. Need to find a tactic to actually tackle properly on this game. I feel like I just can't do it. And that is really poor defending from Algeria. But the goalkeeping was really good to stop him. I've literally got you guys in attacking and you're not pushing forward. That is just stupid. They go for the shot. Oh my god, Portugal. Can you stop? But that is actually ridiculous. Now he's got it and he puts it wide. He probably should have scored from that defensive error. What are my players doing right now? They could have cleared that. They gave Nani a shot. Luckily... He hasn't been good in front of goal. I just can't get rid of the ball. Portugal are literally in the highest pressing mode I've ever seen. What is going on with the defending? The defending is terrible from Algeria. And we conceded a sloppy goal. We were really, really good up until that point. Like, Portugal's pressing has been mental. My pressing, on the other hand, hasn't even been here. Even though I'm in attacking mode... I know that leaves me exposed defensively, but my defence is just not even here in the first place anyway. Oh my god, seriously Algeria, you're so sleepy. You're so sleepy going forward, it's unreal, and we're 1-0 down at half-time for a defensive error. I don't think, well, Portugal did deserve the goal because their pressing has been really good. But on the other hand, like, Algeria just haven't been here defensively. Go for the shot, that's our second shot. I mean, it wasn't that bad, but Jabor puts it over the bar. Okay, well, that was a shot, and we don't have the pace to get that. I thought Jabor had, like, 79 pace or something. Over the top? What is that? Like, I just don't understand the controls on this game. I wind it over the top to the player, and they missed the shot. Okay, Eder missing that crucial chance to put Portugal 2-0 up. Look, like, what is even going on in this match? I don't understand it. We're getting dominated by Portugal right now. And it's only 1-0. So it just makes me think that maybe there's just... I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with them. I don't know what's wrong with them. I couldn't tell you. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? Verania? Tackle him, please. No, we've been finished off. Algeria's defence are horrendous. They leak goals constantly. And I should have known from the start of the run that we were in trouble when we played Armenia. Maybe it was me. Maybe it was uh, Algeria. We'll never know. But I am blaming it partly on Algeria's defence. We just couldn't tackle properly. I mean, that tackle was horrendous. I'm pressing the button. I'm doing my bit. I'm doing my command to press the button. So why isn't the game, like, sort of properly tackling? This will be over soon. Slimani goes for it. Oh, what a goal! What a goal by Slimani! That was actually class. That was actually class. I'm taking that. That's a victory for me right there. I can't believe I scored that. And Algeria going wild. They think they have a chance. I mean, all I did was run. I was like, I was like, screw it. Let's have a shot. What a goal that was. Completely caught Portugal off guard. And even if Algeria are going home, Slimani pulls one of the goals of the tournament out the bag. And that's it. Algeria get dumped out in the round of 16 to Portugal. I mean, Portugal were super dominant in that game. Thanks to, obviously, they had better players. And the fact that Algeria couldn't really soak up the pressure they were putting on. I feel like Portugal were in full attack mode the whole game and um, our defence showed some cracks in that game, some crucial cracks that we couldn't pave over. So let's simulate the rest of the tournament and find out who wins it. It is Italy against England 3-1 in the final. 
So that was your run with Algeria on the 2014 World Cup game. I decided to do a bigger African nation this time round in the hopes that I'd get further. But we unfortunately ran into a very, very good Portugal side. If you did enjoy this video, then give it a like and subscribe. Keep it loco as always, and I'll see you again for the next video.